Hey guys, I'm RJ and Bricks, and today I've built for you an underwater coral reef island. I didn't really know what to name this one because there's kind of multiple things going on here, but basically it's an island and then the build actually goes underneath the waves down below to see the coral reef and the ecosystem underneath. To begin with, I built an island and made an X marks the spot and gave it some texture using some 2x2 two two round tiles in different brown colors, lots of cheese slopes, and some 1x1 one one flat tiles in round to give it a little bit more smooth texture. I also added this small tree design that I made real quickly because uh, I wanted something small so it wouldn't like overshadow any of the actual island. There's a little rock and some bushes on the ground. There's also a dock that juts out, and if you go down beneath, beneath the water, there is the poles of the dock, some of which are broken and have plants growing out of them. On the floor of the coral reef, there's a bunch of different types of plants using lots of different flower pieces, leaf pieces, and some one by one lime green studs. Also these really weird like teal, kind of cyan leaf pieces that are from elf sets, I think along with some fancier pink flowers to go on the top. I also included a shark and a fish, and I used some fluorescent orange, translu translucent orange clip pieces to kind of give it that sea anemone look. I'm not sure how well that worked, but it looks fine. And then on the back, there's some rock that fades away into sand, which goes up into the island, and then directly below the X marks the spot, where we have our little minifigure with a shovel digging. If you go down, there's a buried treasure and it's actually visible through the water. On top, I decided to add some water just so I could get some contrast between the top of the island and underneath. And I did that by putting just one by one by um, blue bricks on their sides. It's only connected by bricks in one point with a one by one stud and then the pole of the dock is holding up the rest and a bit at the back is also holding it up and then on top to give it a little bit more texture and just natural look i added some translucent clear cheese wedges to give it look of waves if you guys enjoyed this mock please consider dropping a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't i'm on the home stretch to 2,000 subscribers. It would really make me happy if we could hit that before summer starts. So if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you did, and I'll see you next time.